Hi everyone, welcome to my take. Uh, apologies for not uploading videos that much in the past month. Um, I've been really busy with other things. I've been doing community work, um, a lot of volunteering, and I've just not had a lot of time. So um, apologies for that, and hopefully I'll, I'll be uploading videos a bit more regularly from now on. Um, so in this video, my brother is here with me. Um, he was in one of my previous videos, and we're going to be talking about publishing a paper because uh, congratulations to my brother for publishing his very first one and it's all fresh in his mind so we thought why not make a video on it to help you if you're considering publishing a paper um, I'll be interviewing him and asking him questions so so what do you think is the purpose of publishing your work well it's very important really um, you're contributing to knowledge and that's really the main thing, that's the whole idea of a paper. You need to make sure that your data is good enough. Yeah. So otherwise anyone could go along and say, okay, this is my story. So the whole idea of publishing a paper is you have the, this peer review process. Mm -hmm. And in the peer review process, you have experts in the field looking through your data, seeing is this story accurate? Is the data, data telling the story that you're trying to say that it's telling you? And mm -hmm. uh, if so, then, then it's worth publishing. Yeah because you share that knowledge with other people that can then build on what you've found and then make new discoveries based on that. You know, anyone from an undergraduate student level to postgrad, postdoc level um, will, and, and beyond that, professors will be reading your work um, if it's related to their research yes. or related to their subject absolutely. that they're studying. Yeah, absolutely, yes. It's very important, therefore, to make sure that everything is accurate and hence that's why the peer review process is there and also why mm. you publish papers really. Yeah, so I know that when you publish your paper mm -hmm. um, you were sent it back with comments from the reviewers so do you want to talk a bit about that like what, what were the comments like? Yeah so first time round um, unfortunately didn't get through the first time round and uh, what they said is these are some of the improvements that you can make. And this is very common. It's, it's very common. Yeah. Is it? More than 30%, I'd say, oh, sorry, rather, more than 70%, I'd say, don't go through the first time. Mm. But it's all part of the process, really. Don't get disheartened. Honestly, yeah. that's one of the things. It's very easy when you do it first time. Yeah. Um, and you get comments like that to, to get disheartened by, the, by it all. But it's not, it's not something that they're doing to try to knock you. Mm. They're not trying to trick you, and it's not really to gain anything from their part. Most of the, in most cases, mm -hmm. in most cases, it's to ensure that your data is accurate and good, yeah. and uh, it, again, it's something that people would want to quote him to use in the future. Mm -hmm. So it's it's not something that really should be disheartened by. Just try again, and that's what I did, and it went through the second time. Yeah. So did you have to make a lot of changes, big changes, with the small minor changes, or was it a mix of both? Well, big and small is arbitrary. Really, mm -hmm. is you can't really define what's big and small. Yeah. But it was, I would say, in terms of the overall paper, it wasn't really big changes, mm -hmm. but it was what would complete the story. So how long did it take you to make all of the changes? The changes took around um, around two months, so two not months. too long actually. Okay. So, do you want to tell us um, how long the process took, all in all? Yeah, well actually it took um, longer than I thought it would. Yeah. It took around a year actually for the first one to uh -huh. get finalised. Um, a number of bumps along the way but got there in the end. But is that including the submission time or what does that It includes mean? the submission time, the, the peer reviewing okay. and also the actual writing. The writing, yeah. so all in all one year. Yeah. Um, and what was your, what was the subject of your paper and where was it published? Well the journal is called Applied Surface Science. Uh, the paper itself is about the magnetic and surface properties of hydrogen adsorption on iron. So adsorption is where hydrogen sticks to the surface. Mm -hmm. um, it's just a scientific term for sticking, really. Yeah. And um, because you're just remind the list of the viewers uh, what your background is. My background. Oh, like your what you're studying. Born in England. <laughs> what you study? <laughs> right. Okay. So I'm doing a degree in maths and. Well, sorry, I did a degree in maths and physics, and now I'm doing a degree in material science. Yeah, so this is your PhD. Yeah, PhD. Yeah. In material science. So how did you get? How did you go about making the decision that you were ready to um, get a paper submitted? 
Well, the main thing was uh, going through the data really and just looking at it and thinking, have I told a new story here? Yeah. And that's the main thing. Like, if you've got data and you can tell a story with it, that is enough really. Yeah. Um, there's no real checkbox activity that you can really do. You just get an intuitive feel. And you go back to your supervisors usually and say, do you agree? And usually they say no. And then you go back and then you do some more. <laughs> and then eventually they say, yes, this is good enough. Yeah. I didn't have that sort of, I mean, that's kind of common to go through that kind of process. I was quite lucky. My supervisors early on were like, yeah, this seems like good data. Yeah. Uh, the analysis seems sound, so let's see if we can publish it. So it sounds like you worked very closely with your supervisors uh, to get to the point of writing the manuscript. Did you actually write with them also? Yeah, they were involved heavily in the process from the beginning, actually. So the moment I, I, I mainly did most of the analysis and etc. by myself, but once I had the data together and showed them and then they were happy, then from that point on, they did get very heavily involved. Yeah. Thank you, Aslan, for sharing your um, experience with us of writing and publishing your first paper. And uh, many congratulations once again. Thank you. I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, please like, subscribe, and share this video if you found it helpful. If you like a part two on publishing, if you want any more questions answered, then please let me know in the comment section below this video. And um, I'll ask my brother again to feature in another video and he can answer more questions. <laughs> You'll be happy to do that, right? <laughs> yeah, to he's happy me. to do that. <laughs> See you soon. Bye.